Now I want to show how to add a client account to an existing Trade Copper setup. So I will sort of give you a checklist there and we'll do this step by step so we can do this later. Okay. When you get a, like a new client. Okay. So just imagine like right now, as you can see, I have one master account and three client accounts. So what happens, you know, if I, I've been trading for these three clients for a while and then, you know, another client comes in like a client number four. Yeah. So now I have to add another client to my existing setup. So how should I do that? Yeah. So first thing I have to get MetaTrader login details from a new client. You know, if you have a trade copper setup checklist, this will be quite similar the same we're just doing the same for just one client account it's just adding next to all the other accounts okay so so basically first what i have to do is to get metatrader logins de details from a new client yeah then i have to download metatrader from that client's broker so to illustrate this example um i have metatrader logins there those are the logins that are already logged in. And that is one additional demo account that I don't have running there. So let's just pretend that, you know, those are the logins from um, a new client. Yeah. So a new client comes in and says, OK, here are my login details. Please trade for me. Yeah. Please manage my account. So what you do is get their logins and then you need to install their MetaTrader or you can use my uh, folder copy paste method, you know, to avoid installation process. Here's how I do this. I go to the MetaTraders folder, but I have everything. Yeah, I go to duplicate. That's MetaTrader 4. Yes. So I go to MetaTrader 4 and I what I do is I do copy and I do paste. I rename the folder to make it easier for me to remember. GBA Brokers. So that's MetaTrader 4 number 3 from GBA Brokers. How do I know? I see that the server is GBA Brokers demo. Yeah. So I will copy this. So now I already installed MetaTrader. I go, I can go to, through the installation like using the regular installation wizard from the GBA Brokers website. But I can, you know, I can do this like folder copy paste method like you just saw. I just copy paste existing MetaTrader account and just rename the folder. That's it. So then I install MetaTrader for a new client account. I just did that. Yeah. I name new MetaTrader folder to remember. I already did that. And that, now I have to create shortcut for easy startup. Let's do that. So I will open um, open desktop again. I go to startup folder where I have all the shortcuts. Yes. Those are the MetaTrader shortcuts and MetaTrader installations that I initially already had, you know. So I go to the GBA broker is the new installation. And what I do is that I find the terminal exe or so to speak application, terminal application, because you can see there is this terminal file as well, but it's icon. So we don't need icon. We need terminal application file. And I choose to create shortcut. Here we go. And now I move that shortcut to my shortcut folder. Here we go. I will rename this as well. MT4 number three GBU brokers. Yeah. And now I will start and launch this. Let's see while it's loading. Let's see what's the next step. Start and configure and log into into a new MetaTrader. OK, so we're just doing that right now. Here we go. Now, the tricky part is that 
I've duplicated the folder of my IC Markets account, okay? So if I try to log into a GBA Brokers account, I don't see the GBA broker server there. But the quick trick to do this, to make that appear, I go to file open an account, then I go to add new broker and I paste the exact broker server name that the client provided and it should find where it is. Here we go, GBA <coughs> brokers demo and the live appeared as well. We can see that those are loaded. I can click cancel now. And if we go to login to trade account, now I have GBA brokers on the list. So I choose GBA brokers. I copy login name, number, yeah. And then I go to copy the password and I click login to log in into account. Here we go. I'm inside my account, the new account, yeah? So close these now. Uh, quick configuration, tools options. I disable news usually just to save time. Um, like resources, I disable events to dis uh, save resources in the VPS and I have to enable automated trading and DLL imports, okay? That's it. Okay, so the next step is to install local trade copy into new MetaTrader. Now, because I made a copy of already existing IC Markets MetaTrader folder uh, that already had a client EA inside, so I already have a client EA inside. But if that's not the case, if it doesn't have it, I would just repeat the installation. I go to downloads where I have my. Um, Local Trade Copper Manager and the client. I go with the client installation. I accept agreement, go next, next. Now I have to find GBE Brokers. Here it is. It's, it highlighted it. I select, yeah. We have a few more somewhere, but I was up. You know, I do need them. Those were for some different tests uh, earlier. So I need this empty for number three GB brokers, I click next, next, and finish, and that's it. So normally I would also have to refresh the expert advisor list, but I would have the EA, so um, yeah. So what's the next step? Start client EA on a new client account, and I have to match client EA configuration. That's really important, but just to not confuse you, if you, if you usually use the default settings, so you just go with the default settings and that's it. You just open the euro dollar chart. I go to client EA and I drag it on the chart or double click it, whatever. And, um, you know, you have to match the configuration of other client EAs. In a case, if you have some advanced settings, so to speak, so maybe you are copying from a list of specific master accounts, yeah? So you put this in for there. Maybe you have some special deviation requirements or suffix or custom symbol mapping or whatever, yeah? Or or whatever it is, you know, there are lots of advanced settings there. But if you just go with default settings and all you do is set money management settings, so that's it, you know. If I just have to risk the same as on the master, I just click OK, nothing to set, nothing to change, that's it, you know. But I just mentioned that you should match client EA configuration because I don't know what client EA configuration you use, you know, what things you have in there. Maybe you're removing stop losses or maybe you're doubling take profits or whatever that is, yeah? Okay, so next we have to do a pending order copy test on each instrument you plan to trade. So, because we have other client accounts, yeah? How should I place this? Um, somehow like this, let's say, yeah. So because I have other client accounts, uh, these tests will, you know, will this test pending order will be copied to all client accounts. But I already expect that it, it will work on all client accounts, but I don't know if it will work on this client account, yeah? 
So I put a sell limit on euro dollar and I see I get a sell limit on this new account as well as on all other accounts, yeah? I delete the pending order, pending order gets deleted. Okay, now I go to test, let's say uh, DAX, yeah? I open pending order on DAX and I see that, okay, this account copied it because it has the same symbol name. These accounts didn't copy it because they have different accounts, uh, sorry, different symbol names, yeah? And this account didn't copy it as well. You can see this question mark appears in red, which means there are trades ignored. And this counter goes to, for ignored trades, goes to one, yeah? So, what I realize now is that I can't copy DAX and I need to copy DAX. So, I'll have to make some changes, yeah? So, I have to create custom mapping uh, on a new client account for instruments of different names. Okay, so what I have to do is to go and find how the hell this account has this DAX named and if it has it at all, okay? So let's see, let's look where the indices are. Here we go, that will be the DAX. Um, DE30.C, okay? I set it to show, okay? Here we go. So now I go there. Find custom mapping. Here we go. And what I need to do is to enter this. G D A X Y equals um, D E three zero point C. I can't remember if this is has to be exact um, caps or not. Let's just test this. Okay, let's see. I believe it should be exactly or not. Let's see. Yeah, it should be exact. Okay, let's do it once again. So, G, D, A, X, Y. It's it's a bit confusing because on the master account, on the open trades, we see this in lower letters, okay? But if we go to find the pair, like, oh, I already have this, it's in cap caps, you know, like uppercase. So I have to match this GDAXY with DE30.C, okay? Here we go. It copied it, okay? Obviously, I will have to do this for these other two accounts, but I won't bother, you know, anyway. Uh, it's just a test, but... That's how I would add a, you know, a new client to the to, uh, to already existing trade copper setup, okay? And uh, lastly, what I have to do is to save currently active MetaTrader profile of that new account, okay? So what I will do is just um, go to File, Profiles, Save As, and I will have to select a profile name that I see right there. It says default, so I have to select default, click OK, and override it, yes. So now if my MetaTrader crashes, it will load the exact same settings and configuration as we see right now, okay? So we can delete this pending order now. And voila, we just have a new MetaTrader client added to our existing trade copper setup and now we have a full checklist like in front of your eyes so now you can just you know make a screenshot of it or, and print it uh, and put it on your desk you know so next time you remember how it looks like